This is Rita from the Ralph and Rita Show. I thought I would put together a little video of what you should bring on your Alaskan cruise or any cruise most for the most part. Let's see. First I have this little thing. It holds our both our passports and our boarding pass and our luggage tag pass, uh, luggage tags. <sighs> yeah, my mine's not working so well. Then I have this awesome bag. You see it zips up and it's not very big when it zips up, but when you unzip it, it hangs up. It has a little handy dandy hanger. And I really do like that um, because there's not a lot of uh, cap, uh, counter space in the bathrooms and this can hang on the door. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Oh yeah, our cruise docks. I will be hiding cruise docks. Um, if you're on Carnival Spirit on um, September 5th, that I'll be hiding these little guys. So if you want to hide ducks, bring your ducks. Have all your ducks in a row. I have to close this box up again because the cat was stealing the ducks yesterday. Okay. And laundry basket. It came in really handy on our room. It, this one just, it unfolds this way. So you can put all your laundry in it. It's not a bad size. Um, and I just lay it this way in the suitcase. I think it can go even further and, um, and be smaller but I don't make it smaller. Um, okay, so I have asthma and I just switched to a new inhaler. So I have, a, I have a nebulizer and I found this little nebulizer is a portable one. It plugs into a USB port to bring on the cruise. That'll probably go in my carry-on bag. The rest of the stuff is gonna be in the, in the pack suitcase. Ah, yeah. Don't forget sunglasses. It doesn't matter. Um, they say polarized ones are better, but my glasses are polarized, so that might be okay. But um, bring sunglasses because in Alaska, the sun is bright. Let's see. I also got some new gloves. I haven't even opened them up. Um, I don't know if we'll need them. Some people have been needing gloves and some people haven't, but maybe on board the ship, we'll need gloves. So I got some new gloves. Um, see, lanyards. Bring lanyards, it's easier to have your sail and sign key on a lanyard. Although my husband just puts his in the pocket, but uh, because they have the uh, glow party, we got these little, um, these little glowing things. And then seasickness. I bought this pack of seasickness um, bands, C bands. These are not the C band brand, but they were cheaper and they came a lot in the pack. That way, if I have friends that are cruising for the first time, if they get seasick, this might help. <coughs> also, bring um, uh, any patches or pills if you get problems. So, I bought these too. I don't think I'm going to need this many gloves and I may not bring them. I was thinking about maybe putting these, hooking these to my net on the door, but I haven't really decided yet. Um, and this is a handy dandy little, um, it has the, <laughs> I, know, I can't even remember what it was. I have to take it out of the bag. Uh, oh yeah. It's the backpack, so the backpack folds into itself, and it's actually a pretty decent sized backpack. Now I have to figure out how to repack that. And then, because I tended to lose gloves, I thought I'd bring some of these, or at least a pair of these, to hook my gloves onto my jacket if I'm not wearing them because I do lose gloves all the time. And they said bring sunscreen. I think mostly your 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 well your face and your neck 
might be at risk. So I got this little self-defense thing and all the stuff I bought on Amazon. And because they have, uh, they have some plugs, but they also have uh, uh, European plugs. I bought this little adapter and um, anyways, this little adapter, well, I can plug in one, pl two plugs, three plugs and two and two USB port things. And that's that for that box of stuff. I still have it all in a box so I can find it again. Um, then I bring my chargers and stuff in this. Um, so this holds charging cords and stuff. It's got two sides to it. And it just keeps them all in one place. I usually put this in my carry-on, just in case I need to plug in an airport. I bring slippers with me. These are just some old slippers, but I don't like putting my feet on the floor. Then we got some frog togs. So this is a rain jacket and pants to go over your pants. So it'll keep you dry on those wet Alaskan days. And then I have this bag. It's a, these are compression cubes, so I can put my I, I can pack my clothes into them, and I'll show you how to do that at another time when I'm actually packing. Um, let's see. Bring whatever medicines you think you'll need. Um, oh yeah, I don't know if I showed you on my. Um, my lanyard, I have a, a portable, uh, a re reusable straw because on the ship, they just have, um, they just have uh, those straws that melt, sugar straws. Then I bought this, just some new socks for the cruise. I don't, I have five pairs here. Um, whoops. And they're supposed to be nice and warm. I'm thinking maybe we might need it. It's not really supposed to snow there, but it's supposed to rain a lot. So, oh yeah. And this one's a surprise for my husband. I bought one of those little handy dandy uh, suitcase scales. And he'll get a lot of use out of that one. Since you can only bring 50, 50 pounds checked luggage. And there's something else I forgot to tell you. I have some in my, um, my, uh, what is it called? My, uh, toiletry bag. Um, downy wrinkle release. I got three of them, not from, on um, Amazon, not very much. They didn't cost very much. And that's pretty much all. Don't forget your door decorations. I don't want to give mine away. Oh yeah, there is something really important. Binoculars. I have two pairs of binoculars. Ones are little, and these these ones actually take pictures of what you're looking at if you want to. And they have the little uh, flash drive in it, not flash drive, SD card in it. And then I always bring a sound machine. One time, the cabin next to us had sex all the time, and you can hear them. I don't think there's any reason to hear somebody when they're having sex, but these people were, were extremely loud, both of them. Anyways, um, and then I have other regular packing cubes and I also got some bags that um, just like plastic bags that are compression bags. So you can roll the air out of your thing and your, your stuff will sit uh, flatter in your suitcase. I'm hoping all that will help us with our packing because I guess I can show you. Okay, there's my little suitcase over there and that big pile on top of the by the wall is tops and it's not even nearly enough tops and and my jeans and then I have two different piles 
here with sweatshirts and stuff, I'm only going to end up bringing one hoodie um, and maybe the, my zip up hoodie too. I think that might be more convenient at times, but yeah, I don't really know how to pack for Alaska. I lived in Ohio, which got kind of cold during the winter, but I would just basically dress normal and put on a jacket and head to my car and then take everything off when I got to where I was going. So, um, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out how to, um, to dress. Anyways, y'all have a great day. I hope you're cu cruising with us. Remember, we're going to be on the Spirit, on Se Carnival Spirit on September 5th. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe if you haven't already to the Ralph and Rita Show. Thanks. Bye.